So Caleb and I were talking about, we're going to use this Ford ex Expedition for an example. So our used car account said, hey, I have this Expedition. It sounds like a valve tap. It's got a misfire. So it has an exhaust leak, but it runs and moves and the air doesn't work. So Caleb and I look at it and like, yeah, we'll take it. Like for sure. I, I can't tell you how many used cars that we've purchased that the motors and transes were good that just needed to be loved, repaired, and maintained. This is my third. Here. So third since he's been here. In two years almost. Right. And then how many have I done? Three or four myself. And then I pass off what I don't want to get involved in. You bought at least three since I've been here. And I've kept. Yeah, that you've kept. I've kept some. So, I mean, the, the Dodge, the Sequoia, and then um, the black truck. Oh, yeah, that's it, yeah. That was three wholesale cars that I reconstructed and re redid, and I kept them for myself. Then there was other ones that I sold. So my point was they traded this car in on a used car. They didn't buy a brand new car because they traded it in our used car lot. And don't take this personal, people. And this goes for people not in the business. If you couldn't afford to maintain and fix your old car, right, what makes you think you can afford to make a payment and repair and maintain your used car? It, there's no rationality there. The rationality is, is that you're tired of maybe driving this, but it's your fault that this vehicle's in a condition it is, or it's your mechanic's fault. It's you or your mechanic, either one. Pick one or blame both of you. Um, both, exactly, right? Him not advising what you should be doing and you not coming in and saying there's things wrong or when he's saying there's things wrong, you're not fixing it. So now you trade this in, they give you 500 bucks for it or whatever the case may be. Caleb paid a thousand for it. And uh, we looked it over like frame's good, this is good. It's got a lot of plus. We placed the exhaust manifold, cost them $50. Uh, it needs a coil and plug, the AC doesn't work, just some minor things. So now he's going to take this and flip it. But now you as the purchase, you purchased a pre-owned car that's probably 10 years old with over 100,000 miles on it, right? I mean, that's because that's what's on these used car lots nowadays. And you're paying, with the interest rates today, at least $300 a month principal interest, plus now they have to carry full coverage. So now you're on the hook for five to $700 a month for your 10 year old car that's not brand new and that you couldn't afford to maintain and fix what you had, but then you're gonna just choke up, choke down a payment every month on a car that right now is okay because they reconditioned it and it's, it's mostly caught up and it's in better shape than yours. But that car that was traded in was probably in similar shape to yours. They just paid someone to go over it like us, a pro and said, hey, what does it need? Let's fix it and let's get it back on the lot. So the same customer, right? The routine is, I drive this car, I don't fix anything, I neglect it. What do you think is gonna happen to their pre-owned car, Caleb? Same exact thing that The happened. same exact happened to Are you nice and cold? I turned it up to 72, I'm comfortable, but I'm about to turn it off. So anyone else have any input on there? It's good, it's good discussion. Unless you go buy a brand new car, and then you're choking down 800 to 1,000 dollars a month. I don't know, it doesn't make any sense to me. I say fix what you got, save your money. What are you gonna do, put $1,000 a year into this? If you put $1,000 a year into this for the next five years, right? Not including engine and trans. You could have paint, wheels and tires, all the interior fixed, and upgrades out the wazoo, right? Out the wazoo. We were just talking about this. Yep. We were, uh, that guy's Chevy, or the GMC, that I just did the whole front $3,500, the front end work, and the yep. AC. Yep. Yes. He said that he didn't want to get it done, went to go look at new truck prices, and we said for how much he would spend on a new truck, he, or just a down payment on a new truck. Less, way less than a down payment. Yeah. Down payment's gonna cost you 10 large easy on 60, 80 grand truck, right? He could have sound system, wheels, lifts, paint, and get it fixed. And repair everything that's wrong with it. Modern amenities of everything, yep. with no car payment. Yep.